So this is the umbrella table screen, and the idea is you start with the uh, a nine foot, ideally a nine foot umbrella that's folded down. You throw this mesh covering on top of it, open up the umbrella, and uh, you basically cinch the top. You'll see that the this mesh covering lays along the edges, and if I show you underneath, you can actually see the outline of the mesh covering. So it just sits on the edges. It gets cinched here like this. You don't have to tie any knots. It's got a zipper. Uh, it's not the tallest zipper, so anybody um, I'd say over six feet would have to bend down. But it's a two-way zipper. You can unzipper it from the bottom, uh, from the outside or the inside when you're in there. And um, essentially it gets weighed down by uh, an inflatable tube. There are two inflators, one on this side and one on this side. Uh, so it makes uh, taking it apart or taking it, uh, disassembling it quite easy as well as assembling it. And um, it's actually quite effective. I don't have a mosquito, but I do have like a little inchworm. Those holes are really tiny. I mean, this is like a little, not even an inch long. But point is, it works. It did have dinner out here, and uh, it was really effective. Uh, didn't get any bites. Um, yeah, but the idea is that it's pretty simple to use. Um, whether you choose to keep this up um, all year, all summer long, or you know, take it down is up to you. Uh, obviously, it'll wear better if you don't. But um, there's no reason why you couldn't keep this up uh, through the rain. Uh, and, and the shine. Just to show you the unzippering, and obviously I'm trying to do this with one hand. Uh, this is the view from within. It's actually pretty clear. Some wind there, it's still holding up. It's quite effective. Uh, for the price, it's worth it because um, Many people uh, cannot eat outside during the peak summer months just because of all the bugs and mosquitoes, depends on where you live. Uh, but this does the job and um, not all that costly. In order to take it apart, obviously just uh, unfold, you know, fold down the umbrella and uh, uncinch the top, it comes right off, lifts right off. Just fold it up, put it back in the box. Since air can leak out over time and water will uh, supposedly, from some reviews, say that uh, water will eventually find its way out through either holes or bursting over time, one of the best solutions I found and heard about was using an old garden hose. Cut it down to size, you can you know loop it right through here um, and uh, you can cinch these at the end if you want or leave it open, it should be fine. But um, it's actually a really good solution because the garden hose you can take in and out uh, when you want, you can leave it in place and it'll be heavy enough to keep it weighted down. Here's a perfect example. I've got some little yellow flying bug that's trying to get in and um, you can't. Um, <laughs> this thing is working really well. It's like one of those flying saucers. There you go. It's a little bit clearer. But the mesh is, you know, the holes are tight enough that even the smallest things are not going to get through. Whatever gets through there is not going to harm you. I mean, this thing is tiny, tiny and uh, it's not getting through. So. There you go, perfect example. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this at all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe down below. Thank you for joining me.